Okay, here's a quick test of the RC Timer ASP with the Nex5 camera using the Alexmos um, two-piece controller board for a three-axis gimbal. Um, my receiver's up here. I'm running off a uh, Futaba T8FG. Channel 2 is tilt and channel 4 is pan. Um, the wiring has to be addressed up and through and around the motor and then fed back this is the rack I'm going to be using the rail system and fed back to the battery and the receiver which will be in the back section here uh, because all that has to spin if you want to do more than a few degrees of turning um, but because there's a big opening around the motor that is possible to get um, over 360 degree turn your cameraman or you just have to be realize where you started and where you end up so you don't go around too many times so as you can see here's my tilt right now I have it set to go down about 90 degrees and then come back up to zero and I believe it will go back up to like minus 10 so I could go a little higher and it'll settle back at zero pan here's pan going left I'm not sure if you can see the wires up top but they are turning um, around with the motor. There's 180 in that direction. So we now have 270 from where we started in the left direction. And go back to where we started. All these wires need a good cleanup. Um, that's next on the list. So we are back to where we started. I, I believe if I take all these wires and run them in a sleeve, they'll turn a lot easier than running three separate wires up there. The one thing that is missing is the HDMI cable feed from the camera. Um, two options, as you see right here, we just did 360 that way. We're back to where we started, except it's 360. So we need to go another left 360 to get back to the start position. This will keep the wire straight. I'm looking at mounting a couple things. If I can find a thin HDMI wire I will run that up the same way as I did these other wires. If not, I'm looking at finding a very short HDMI wire and mounting the HDMI converter on the back here on another plate and then running the cable from the converter, which is only RCA, to wire, a ground and a, and a signal, and run that up the same way. And actually looking at the wires right now, for power, I've got positive and negative, of course. <clears throat> and then for the pitch and yaw, I've got three wires each. They're not necessary. We don't need the positive there. And with the other grounds hooked up, we don't really need that. So I need a one-wire signal for yaw, one-wire signal for tilt, red and black for battery. And then if I hook this up back here, I'll just need one more wire, which would be the yellow wire going out to an RCA feed and all the grounds are standard everything here will run anywhere from a 2 uh, well the gimbal will run up to a 4S battery and I'll probably run these off a of 4S battery and, and the main motor runs off a 6S battery so as you can see there's a little bit of adjustment because right now as I go down here you'll see it twists a little bit and then tilts a little bit or um, rolls a little bit so there's a little fine adjustment there to take that little play out but otherwise I think everything's working pretty well. This is in the, basically if you're using a stick, you want to be able to, wherever you put the stick, stop and it stay there. Um, the other modes you can set this in is if you're using the knobs, when you turn the knob, wherever you leave the knob is where you want this to stay. You don't want to have to go back to zero each time to stop the knob, the movement. I think we all ran into the Tarot 2D problem in the very beginning, uh, version 1.1. So anyway, that's a start. Thanks.